here we have our dynamic hydronic balancing life panel. With this panel, we can demonstrate how our product performs in a real system. And to do that, let's have a look at what's inside. And here we have a variable speed pump through which we can push the water in the pipes and we can push it with different pressures so that we can see what happens in our product under test when this happens. We also have simulated terminal units with their own pressure drop to make the system a little bit more real. And uh, finally, we have our product to test. So this is a modulating pressure independent control valve. This is our new on-off pressure independent control valve together with the new SUE21P actuator. And on the third circuit, we have our intelligent valve. And for this one, my colleague Jörg will talk about it in another video. Ideally, you want to have uh, constant water flow passing through our terminal units. And in order to check this, uh, we have visual flow meters that will give us an indication of the flow. The flow not only needs to remain constant, but it also needs to be controlled. And we see later how we can do that. What we actually want, want to show now is how PACV performs compared to standard control valve. And to do that, I have for a second to disconnect the intelligent part of the intelligent valve so that this valve now is no longer being controlled by this controller, but it's going to behave like a standard control valve, unable to uh, react against pressure fluctuations. And then let's see what happens if I change the pump settings and I simulate an increase in the, syst in the system load. Now I'm going to go from 70%, I'm going to go up to 100%. And as you, have, as you can see here, the flow rate in the circuit controlled by the PSEV basically has not changed, even if the pump now is pushing much stronger than before. But have a look at this circuit controlled now just by a static control valve. If you do the math here, you have 40% more flow. Imagine how much energy, unnecessary energy, is going to be put through in that circuit. But PSEV not only maintain flow constant, in fact, in case you need, you can always control the flow even remotely during normal operations. And basically you have two ways to do that. For example, if you take uh, our modulating PACV, first during commissioning, you can adjust the maximum flow by manually by touching this presetting. And as you can see now, I have established a new flow which will also remain constant, uh, regardless of pressure fluctuation in the system. And after that, if you have an actuator operating onto the valve, you can further reduce the flow in order to reach the set point. We are also pleased to show you our new modulating room actuator. This actuator here is going to replace the current SSA family and it's going to bring a lot of new interesting features like uh, feedback signal, phase safe, uh, KNS communication. This model here is, for example, IP54, but it also is going to keep the great and appreciated features of his predecessor. And this is the newly released PACV for on off application. With this valve, you can, in the same way as a modulating PACV, maintain a constant flow. And with this actuator, you can close the, the control loop as soon as the set point is reached. Here we can show you. And this is also a new actuator, our electromotive version. And uh, this is particularly good for on-off application because as, as you have just seen, is it, it's able to close the control loop in as quick as 12 seconds, which is very important for trying to prevent a little bit the Delta T syndrome, even when you have on-off applications. Another interesting feature of the PSCV for on-off application is the externally adjustable presetting. With this valve, you can now preset the flow without having the need to remove the actuator. For further information, click on the link below or get in touch with us directly. Thank you. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.